r slash ask reddit if someone from 2000 were to time travel to present day 2024 what would shock them the most oh the pretty looking dumbed down computers they have in elementary schools they'll never make something the average person becomes attached to the simpsons family guy and south park are still producing new episodes you forgot spongebob phones and obsession with social media definitely cell phones so much has changed I worked at a electronics store in 90s and you had to have a lot of extra money for a car phone, plus the first plans build quite a bit for every minute. Now you can carry so much information in your pocket I would have never believed it then. The hoo-ha to get on a plane. I remember being late for an international flight in Holland in 2000 and was able to run through airport and hop on with about 5 minutes before departure. Airport staff were great. A few years later and you can't board if you're less than 40 minutes before departure. Every airport I've been to stops taking baggage an hour before so make that about 1h15 if you wanna make it. That the Matrix was right and 1999 was the peak for us. Morpheus was right. Neo, where are you? Probably the time travel. Peak for whom exactly? People like me couldn't legally marry or adopt children in 1999, for instance. We still don't know what the One Piece is. We do know that Naruto became Hokage though. Detective Conan is also still a young kid after what? 30 years? At least Ash Ketchup got his retirement by now. TF is Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan? The fact there are now almost a 1000 Pokemon compared to the 151 back in the day. Also smartphones. There's only 151 in my heart. The overall cultural shift of the last 20 years. The extreme opinions and cult-like mentality politics. The very us vs them mentality that seems to have settled over everything. Things are just more volatile than they were 20 years ago. Edit, typo. I don't disagree, but Bush v Gore was pretty polarizing at the time. How many freedoms and civil rights we lost due to national security. The hypocrisy. I really miss being able to meet someone at the gate in the airport to welcome them home, or see them off at the gate. Airports used to be so much more fun probably would trip out that we have to take our shoes and belts off and go through a weird machine now that takes a picture of us naked even with our clothes on. No twin towers. So as someone that was way too young to remember before the towers fell, I'd always kinda wondered, did they always have a high level of significance in US culture? Like, completely ignoring what happened, from an ignorant point of view they're just regular skyscrapers that look identical. Did the average person know the twin towers by name and significance outside of New York? Especially before the first bombing? I'm really curious. LGBT plus rights and societal acceptance. It changed fast. In 2000, the Defense of Marriage Act had just been signed four years before. LGBT was mostly closeted or played as a joke in society and media, outside of a few areas. Related to this, the absence of homophobic slurs in everyday conversations. The F word was thrown around everywhere by straight men in the 2000s. I don't think kids today can even imagine how ingrained this was. How poorly people are paid in comparison to the cost of housing and basic necessities. I think people would be shocked by the amount of homeless people in Toronto, Canada. People would be shocked about how much that city has declined. But they'd also be pleasantly surprised about how much LA, New York, Chicago, Boston, and even Vegas have developed and cleaned up. How dumb we've become. Even with all the knowledge of humanity accessible in our pockets. You might enjoy Ryan George, Link the Future is Dumb series of videos on YouTube where a time traveler from the 90s reports on events in the 2010s and 2020s. It's pretty funny, and makes a lot of good points about how much things have changed. Probably these jumper cables. Subscriptions. How bad social media turned out. Social media wasn't even a thing in 2000. Trump. First black president too. I'm alive right now and I can't figure it out. What a strange phenomenon and his mega supporters. I can tell you right now, if a teacher was thrown into the future, they would immediately see that there are calculators in your pocket. There were calculator watches in the 80s. It's still important to know how the math works. Multi-gigabit wireless data. Multi-gigahertz CPU clock speed. Multi-core CPUs. Multi-gigabytes of DROM. SSD storage. Cloud computing. The dominance of GPUs. Microsoft is still big. Apple is still big. AOL is dead. Google is king. Sticker price of computers is same, but way more powerful. 
powerful AI slash ML and GT, chat GPT and its rivals. Fiber into the home. 4K TV. Slow clap. Probably also the cost of the 4K TVs, and TVs in general, so cheap compared now. Look around and point at something. Streaming. The near total extinction of video stores. How integral phones and internet have become. Can't live without them these days. That Chandler is dead. Netflix and streaming video, replacing those blockbuster and video stores where you used to go and rent a VCR. Remember that? The global pandemic. I mean they probably wouldn't know about it unless someone told them. At least where I live. Favorite Reddit comment in a long time. This is very good. Well, there are actually two global pandemics. One was SARS in 2003-4 and COVID is the sequel. But COVID is much more infectious than SARS. Streaming movies, music, and YouTube would probably be amazing, especially combined with mobile devices. There is just so much available all the time it still amazes me when I think about it. I think finding out national punchline Trump had embraced bigotry and been elected president, done a poor job, and could potentially win again after a failed insurrection would be something you'd have to explain in stages or they won't believe you. The Supreme Court's take on Roe v. Wade, recently. TBH the one-two punch of we had a black president, yay, followed by he told a joke about Donald Trump and now we have Nazis is still a pretty big shock to me, much less someone from 20 years ago. Probably the time travel thing. Realism. No hoverboard. The level of animal and plant extinction. Seriously Bush wasn't bad enough? If you'd have told someone back then that in 2016 you'd have a president 1000x more stupid than Bush, they wouldn't have believed you. How much phones have progressed and how much we use them in everyday life. That Donald Trump was actually elected president, how fucked up the country became, and all the horrible political problems now ongoing. All software and electronics really, I mean in 2000 Windows 98 was the up-to-date computing experience. Wait, Apple is actually one of the biggest companies in the world? For a while I thought that they were going under. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're going to have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye.